Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the animation player in Godot 4. To get started, I will add a new node called animation player. And here we can select different attributes of our object or objects to animate. We can create a new animation by going animation, new, let's just call it tutorial, but you can call it whatever you would like. You know, you could do idle, walking, etc. And here, add track for every thing you want to do, like such as position and, you know, uh, sprite sheet, etc. You need to add a track. So I'll add a property track. Click on my sprite. Let's do position. And let's say I want to start here so I can right click, insert key. Great. Drag it all along. And if I move it, say this way, and I insert another key, it will now go between there. I can also add sprite rotation and I can add a key here, go over here, we rotate a little bit, you know, like that, insert the key. And as you can see, it now does both the rotation and the position. One very cool feature with Godot is that you can animate more than just these basic functions. You can animate anything such as the texture or visibility. So if I add a property, go to Sprite, let's do the modulate or self modulate. I can insert a key. And if I go over here, I can set this to be less transparent or more transparent. Insert key. And now, as you can see, we slowly fade in as we're moving. If we want to loop this animation, we just go loop and now it will play over and over again. If we want to change the speed of our animation, either faster or slower, we can edit this speed scale. So let's do 0.1 and now it will go 10th the speed. And twice the speed. Now over to scripting, I will add a script to my animation player. And here we can edit variables as you can see in here. So I can change the speed scale in here. So let's set the speed scale. Speed underscore scale. We'll get 0 0.5, 0 0.5. To play an animation from our script, we can just go play and our animation name tutorial, we press play. You can see now it automatically plays. If we want to know when our animation has finished, we can disable our loop Go to node on animation finish, connect it to our script, and we can print out or run other code. Finished. Press play. You can see when it stops, it'll say finished. And if we want to do something in between here, after that, we can just do play tutorial, and this will loop it in script and set up on the actual node. So here, you can see it loops it through code. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.